Okay, um, in Spanish, you have um, four definite and indefinite articles. Your indefinite articles are un, una, unos, unas. So, um, if you... Come on. So, un, that's masculine and singular, and it means a or an, okay? Una is feminine and singular, and it means a or an. Unos is masculine plural, and it means some. And unas is feminine plural, and it also means some, okay? Um, so, um, I think in your chapter, you're just using it as this. We know uno means one, um, but whenever we're um, using one as an adjective, it also switches to un. So for example, if I'm counting, I say uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. But as soon as I say one book, one teacher, one table, um, or down here, um, one brother, one sister, um, you can't use one anymore. So once you use one as an adjective, it's either gonna become un or una. So for example, if I have um, one book, one table, okay. So book is a masculine word. So when I have one book, book is libro, okay, and the word is uno, that's how I would say one, but when I put, when I put one, when I'm using one to describe something masculine, I drop the O and use un, okay, when I want to say one table, and table is a feminine word, one is uno, mesas table, I can't use uno again, I make it una, okay, but if I wanted to do like four books, four tables, I don't make those same changes. So four books would still be cuatro libros. Okay, four tables would still be cuatro mesas. For right now, you only need to worry about this for the number one. One, when it's used to tell as an adjective to tell how much of something you have, you're going to change it either to un or una. It's going to be un if what you have one of is something masculine. It's going to be una if it's something feminine. This also goes for compound numbers. I don't know if those come up in your, I don't know that those will come up in your chapter, but you might as well know it anyway. So if I have 21 books or 41 books, or 101, oops, not 1,001, 101 books. 21 books is still going to be 21 libros. 41 books is 41 libros. And 101 books is going to be 101 libros. So, even when it's a compound number, if it's one in there and it being used to describe the amount of something you have, you're going to use un if it's something masculine. If it's something feminine, like if I have 21 tables, 41 tables, or 101 tables, because tables is feminine, I'm going to use una. So this would be 21 mesas and this would be 41 mesas and this would be 101 mesas okay um it also tells you that you can use uno una or unas to take the place of a noun um, and when you do that you don't use so you only use un 
if it's an adjective, that means it's describing a noun. If you're going to use one as a pronoun, you need to put the O back in, but you can also still use the una. So when it's being used as a pronoun to replace a noun, you're going to use uno, una, unos, unas. Okay. And when you're using it as an adjective to describe a noun, you're going to use un, una, unos, unas. Okay. So these are your The ones up here are your adjectives, one as an adjective, and this is one as a pronoun. Okay, so then here, tienes billetes de cinco dólares, and you say, si, sí, aquí tengo uno. So do you have um, fi any five dollar bills? Yes, I have one, uno. And it's uno because it's referring to billete, which is masculine. Tienes unas sandalias rojas. Do you have some red shoes? Sí, tengo unas, pero son muy viejas. And it's unas because it's referring to sandalias. So when you're using one as a pronoun, it still needs to agree with the noun that it's replacing. It's uno here because we're talking, here you're asking about billetes, but if you're saying you just have one, you've got to make it singular, but it's still masculine because it's referring to billete. Do you have billetes de cinco dólares? Si, sí, aquí tengo uno. Un billete. I have one billete. Here, tienes unas sandalias rojas? Yes, I have some. And the some is referring to the sandalias. Okay.